Visa is a Misa story. <gasps> no, be no. Misa nuts in this in his in. <laughs> Visa is a Misa, Greg on Zinli. Use a maxi alien boober. And Misa got a bum bad diary. Wait, what? I've been recast. No, 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 no. Misa's starting pretty okey day with the frisky morning munching. But lately, Misa's seen lots of bad bombing. That's a school? That's a club? Fighting with Misa boyos? But there's a nothing worse than the family road trip to Nana's house. Popsy got to talking on the work phone all day long. Mama itching bad for us to be bonding as a family. Can we all just bond as a family? And Misa Big Bro Roderick keeps a yapping at the mouth. Exterminate! Exterminate! How rude. I am Roderick, the superior Roderick. Oh, man. Roderick is not gonna like this. Maybe Misa getting some fresh air when we stop him for the gas. Oh, no! He's just stepping in the doo-doo. At least the lunch and munchins will be racing Misa's spirits. Oh no! Misa made a poopsy oopsy once a goober! Well, for certain this county fail be pretty hot! Ah! Uh, oh no! Ah! You are dumb! Ah! 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 What the heck, bro? That's supposed to be us? <sighs> The only thing worse than living an awkward life of misery and embarrassment is watching someone else try and do it better. I know. Let's play a game. The first one to confess to whatever's on the card wins a point. I must confess, I once got my tongue stuck in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all you, Greg. <laughs> Ouch. We're finally here. Nana's house. Nana, we're here. What? Eh? Who the heck do you think you are? Uh, the Zinli family? <laughs> Wrong answer, bud! It's on! <laughs> this has got to be a misunderstanding. You're darn right it is! <laughs> oh no you don't! Not my Zinlis! Exterminate! 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 Not cool, bro. Oh, I'm missing the last one. think in the remake is an important cultural passing of the torch from on one generation of storytellers to so the next them? <laughs> we never speak of this again. Play a game! I must confess, I've buried a body in the woods.
Well, looks like family bonding can be fun. Ouch. It's bad enough having to constantly deal with classmates and family members who don't understand you. But living your life in front of an audience of judgmental internet trolls is pretty much unbearable. In space, no one can hear you scream. But on the internet, everyone hears everything. Always. All the time. Let's see if there's anyone out there who actually gets me. Ian McCorderNote says, Middle school is heck in donculus. Ian, I couldn't agree more. Shandra B. Harry asks, is this really happening? I ask myself that every day. Basilis GR says, why this alien doesn't have a tail? Aliens have tails. Of course I have a tail. I just tucked that thing in my pants. I have enough problems without people noticing how different I am. Killer Zombie says, I'm currently on a plane to San Francisco. Professor Cheesenips asks, How did this alien get face hugger eggs when it's clearly male? Same as everyone else, Professor. Amazon.com. De La Cruz writes, So his mom would be the queen, right? Ugh, don't let her hear you suggest that. She sure acts like it enough already. Bossing everyone around all the time. Greg, do the dishes. Greg, watch the baby. Greg, stop embalming the mailman into a wall of slime. Yeesh. Mike Ike Ike Mike wants to know, why hasn't anyone called the cops? Actually, I tried that once, but apparently making a family member completely miserable all the time isn't a crime. Melissa Williams wants to know, is anyone else concerned that Greg is dead? <gasps> Phew, false alarm. Maxwell Inca writes, can I please have the head? What? My head? I'm not dead! What is this? Lucha Master 619 asks, How did he play the piano with those giant fingers? Well, Lucha Master, how do you sit on such a high horse with your giant butt? Lisa Swinney says, Dang, he ugly. What? Spud McGregor says, My eyes are bleeding. Hey! Devlog Channel 23 says, His voice really annoying. <laughs> Ghost says this is cringe. Little Doggy says cringe, cringe, cringe. The cringe is strong with this one. This is so cringe. The cringe. Enough. What the heck does that even mean? Cringe. When someone or something is so exceedingly awkward that it embarrasses you to even look at them. What the? Ah, nobody understands anything out here. Ah! Yikes, almost lost my cool there for a moment. Gonna need a new computer, I guess. <sighs> Cringe. got a kick for. You go ahead and brag a stag. I am done for. Now I'm gonna let you finish, bro, but wait, my friends disagree. Me power, space, mind, soul, time, and reality. Boom! I know what you're thinking for. Why am I dead? Well, hindsight is a fake. You should have gone for the head. I'm a philosopher. Some call me a prophet. I offer solutions. I'm burdened with knowledge. You go to bed hungry, scrounging for scraps. Your planet decayed on the brink of collapse. The plan is to vanish half all domains, but damn, you look confused, so let me Spell out the name. I am the T-H-A-N-O-S, Thanos, Warlord, your lord, meant to balance every inch of life in the galaxy. Y'all spend infinite resources endlessly. Enter me. No need for parentheses. I've got the will to act dispassionately. I will wipe out half a life if it sets us free. Essentially, I seek my destiny. And I am not throwing away my snap. No, I am not throwing away my snap. Hey, yo, you call it playing dirty, but trust me, it's a mercy, and I'm not throwing away my snap. I am not throwing away my snap. No, I am not throwing away my snap. Hey, yo, when life's left unchecked, just watch it get wrecked, and I am not throwing away my snap. 
I know what it's like to lose, it's frightening To think the purpose of bleeding and fighting is what's bright and what's right Yet nonetheless you must confess that you failed, you're through Stark, I hope the remnant of humanity remembers you Now I'm past patiently waiting like Hulk smashing Every expectation, desperation, the next creation No time to mourn no matter how much the sting the day extracts It's all what it cost everything and I am not throwing away my snap No, I am not throwing away my snap And like the voice above, feeling you're blown within the wind And I am not throwing away my snap We're gonna have a moment It's time to take a snap That features us It's time to take a snap And yo, it's time to take a snap Time to take a snap And I am not throwing away my Not throwing away my snap Ah, shoot. <gasps> no, 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 no! The only peace and quiet I get in my endlessly horrible existence is when my family lets me stay home alone. So of course they ruin everything by leaving Manny here too. Yeesh, maybe a story will calm him down. Manny's Day Out by Susan Zinley. Mom never wrote me a book. This is Manny. He lived with his family. He was very happy. But Manny had one fault. He was too malicious. One day while visiting Nana's house, Manny snuck away during family fun time. He crawled into the bushes. There he met a hungry caterpillar. Manny was hungry too. And of course, Manny was malicious. He devoured the caterpillar whole. The caterpillar was no longer hungry. But Manny was. And he was still a little malicious. He crawled and crawled until he was stopped by a police officer. Whoa there, little guy, said the kind officer. You shouldn't be out here on your own. Where are your parents? Manny ate his face off. A nearby jogger saw this and cried out for help. Help, she shouted. An adorable baby just ate that man's face. Manny ate her face too. Eventually, Manny crawled all the way to the big city. There he saw brighter lights and more traffic than he had ever seen before. He was confused and he was scared, but he was always malicious. What happened next? First this, then this. This too, why not? And ultimately this, apparently. <laughs> At some point mid-rampage, Manny crossed paths with a balloon man. Manny loved balloons. He felt he must have one and also eat the man's face. But what's this? Instead of grabbing one balloon and eating the man's face, Manny became entangled in their strings and the wind whisked all of them away. Manny was terrified. He soared up high into the clouds where he encountered kites, birds, and even a jumbo jet airplane. One by one, he ate them all or at least however much he was able. As he floated along, Manny recognized the rooftops beneath him. This was his own neighborhood. He'd taken a bite out of each and every one of those chimneys. As he slid down the chimney of his family's house, Manny realized how much he'd missed them. But Manny was in for a surprise. When he emerged from the fireplace, he discovered another baby in his place. They thought it was him. Manny's mom recognized him immediately, of course. She explained that there was enough love in her heart for both babies. Manny considered this. He'd always wanted a brother his own age. They could grow up together, go on adventures together. They would be best friends. Manny ate him instead. Ouch. Oh, Manny, his mother laughed. You always were malicious. And they lived happily ever. Oh, great. Now we'll never know how it ended. This is garbage, Parker. We're through printing stories about Spider-Man. There's a newer, hipper menace in town. Hipper? Get me pictures of Slenderman. Slenderman? Slenderman!
Slender Man, Slender Man, Creepy Pasta Mean Boogie Man, Haunts the woods, hunts the kids, Interferes with pigs and pigs. Look out! Here comes the Slender Man! Is he tall? Looks that way. Once he seen never goes away. Does he have hands or tentacles? Maybe both? No one knows. Hey there, that blur is the Slender Man. In the chill of night, at the bells you may find. He could be anywhere, both in front and behind. Slender Man, Slender Man, madness inducing Slender Man. What's he want? What's he about? It ain't clear the jury's out. Who cares? Legends very and waffle. It's clearly something awful. Just like the Slender Man. Wait, when was this taken? Parker, you're fired. Today, I'm on a mission to take my brother Roderick down a peg. He thinks he's the coolest. But if reading an unhealthy amount of internet comments has taught me anything, it's that no one's better equipped to put him in his place than the average internet troll. Let's see what you, the viewers, had to say about our recent skirmish. Colin Bolden says, Reminds me of my older brother and me. Glad to hear I'm not alone, Colin. How many times has your brother tried to rip out your skull and turn it into a trophy? Gets old, am I right? Recknep's 07 adds, he says that the worst thing is having an older brother, but I have two of them. Yeesh, Recknep's. I can't even imagine having to keep track of two invisible snipers. <laughs> Dex Harris says, if they attack all at once, they could have won. Well, I mean, obviously, Dex, we could have done that. But it's not all about winning, right? I mean, sportsmanship's still a thing, isn't it? Let me just take note of something quickly, unrelated, before moving on. Attack all at once. Okay, Joseph Agar asks, can someone explain to me how two humans can have an alien and a predator for children? Well, Joseph, when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, <laughs> never mind. Time Bomb asks, Dear Greg, please put this in volume two or three. Ever met a face hugger? Time Bomb, I've never met a face hugger. I didn't like. <laughs> Hypnotized Dinosaur says, I like it, but why are the parents humans when the kids are aliens? Well, it's like I said, Dymo. When a mommy and a, um, humans, parents, kids are aliens, that's weird? Is that weird? That's not weird. Moving on. Valkyria de Carvalho says, make more pies. Uh, well, I haven't made, um, my first pie yet, but I'll get on that. Yeah. X Parakill says, whoa, so Predator is Alien's older brother and both parents are human. Adoption? Look, why does everyone keep... Adoption? Nah, that's ridiculous. Let's get an original thought up in here. Wei Jing says, why didn't he just send every alien, not one at a time? Yes, right, I get it. But sportsmanship, people, honor. Rules of combat or something. Okay, here we go. Let's get to the dirt on Roderick. Aiden Rice says, This is so true. Predator is better and cooler than Alien. Ha <laughs> ha, Aiden, that's... Wait, what? New Kid South Park, a.k.a. Butlord says, Predator wins. No, he doesn't. Horror Squad says, Predator rules. Alien well smells. No, I don't. More Predator. Yeah, Predator rules. Predator is milk like a boss. Can Predator use his wisp blades next time? What about me? I can use wisp blades. I can milk like a boss. What's going on, bro? Checking out how much your nerd friends worship me? I, what? No. I don't know what you're talking about. They think you're a joke. Yeah, sure. Let me just click. Beefalo asks, why didn't they just attack him at once? So stupid. <laughs> I know, right? He's so dumb. They totally would have had me. Give me that. No way. Ah! <laughs> 
I'm gonna need a new laptop if I'm gonna reply to all these comments. Starting to think you're adopted! Now playing off 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 Broadway, Sand People, the musical. <laughs> Featuring a veritable jukebox of hit songs butchered by incoherent desert-dwelling Star Wars aliens. And Boba Fett. Tuscan, with twin suns burning down. I said, Tuscan, hey, there's panther tracks on the ground. I said, Tuscan, silk Watch them dance single file to belt their numbers. Ride in single file. Ride in single file. Now put your sticks up. It's the show that has critics saying, Incredible! Because it's Sandy. Grunt along if you feel like sniping at some pod. Riveting. People. People who are sand people. Hey, this is my life. And just make more wimpy alien. Dust can funk you up. Dust can funk you up. I said, Dust can funk you up. Dust can funk you up. <laughs> You'll laugh as they celebrate their culture. Oh, 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 but Dust can style. Hey, sexy raider. Oh, oh, oh. You'll cry when they're wiped out by Anakin Skywalker. Not just the men, but women and children. He slaughtered every single one of them, so they ain't living. And you'll cheer as they overcome adversity of some sort. We've got the eye of the panther. We attack, dancing through the sarlacc. Cause we are the Tuskers, and you're gonna Sand People the Musical, the show that's got audiences taken aback, and in greater numbers. Check in the comments! What's up, nerds and trolls? As you know, my little bro Craig is obsessed with himself. He whines about everything. Family, girls, being an unpopular little butt face. So we're gonna try to make all this a bit less selfish and talk about the real hero of our stories. Me. Seriously, look at me go. I'm awesome. Let's see if I can't beat Greg at his own game and prove once and for all that I'm the greatest with a little help from his fans. <laughs> Matthew Bruce says, Predator is cooler. Starting out strong, Matthew raises a good point. Galaxy Swampert says, Roderick the Predator has nice leg hair. Dude, thanks for noticing. I try to cultivate perfection with every aspect of my body, and leg hair is no exception. Retro GD says, Predator is a big jerk to alien. Right on, Retro. I do my best. Indoraptor Fan Monster X says, Predator sucks, alien rules. Agree. To disagree! The Wicked Potato says, Roger is cringe. Well, I don't know this Roger, but I'll take your word for it, Potato. Leland's Lounge says, Predator is mostly for delicious ice creams. Turn right I am. Newbie says, I love the pants drop moment. Oh, so do I, Newbie. So do I. And again. And in reverse. In slow motion. <laughs> Never gets old. Channel of a Wimpy Kid asks, How can he even grab anything when his arms move? His arms just flaps around. <laughs> Not well. Sing us home, Roger Cam. <laughs> Loser alert. Detective Doge100109 says, I have two older sisters. It's literally the explanation of hell. Oh, whoa, two older sisters? Nice, man. If they're into killer rock stars, tell them to message me. I go by Predator Rules 87 with a Z. The ladies love me. Brandon Ebola asks, how does he put on shirts? <laughs> Same way he picks things up. <laughs> Blueberry the Pirate says, 
Predator is like, no one hurts my brother except me. Yeah, well, you know, it's kind of my thing. Wouldn't want anyone else stealing my thunder, right? Diamond PB2 says, please put this in the next volume. Why don't you like each other? You seem like you would be amazing friends. And also, why don't you try to be like Predator? If you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, well, he should be more like me. He'd be way cooler. But okay, I mean, we may not be amazing friends, but we don't completely hate each other. Truth is, even though I may be hard on the little guy, I... What the... Hey, hot stuff, it's us, that guy's older sisters. Oh, well, hello. Hey, ladies, what's happening was just flexing. Muscle, fire, fire, muscle, fire. You are the best, Roderick. Come outside and see us. We're on your porch right now. Whoa, these chicks don't mess around. Can't blame them. Oh, let me just set security. Myself, I consistently fail to meet my expectations. But even that goal seems reasonable compared to meeting the expectations of my parents. <sighs> Whenever I do something that upsets my parents, it's always followed by the talk. Greg, we are so disappointed. Greg, the neighbor's cat isn't food. Greg, the family just covered up what was technically a quadruple homicide. I'm starting to think that your violent tendencies are rubbing off on us. But now Dad says we have to set aside some father-son bonding time in order to get back to the basics. It'll be good to unplug, Greg. The best thing for you is to be as not you as possible. He says fishing's a great way to practice being calm, since it takes hours to catch anything. Greg. He got me an internship at his office, since discipline calms the mind. Hey, Frank. Got those TPS reports? Yeah, they are right here. <laughs> coaching me at basketball so I can learn the value of teamwork. Go engineers! Greg. <laughs> uh, now he's got me enrolled in the Wilderness Explorers as some kind of punishment. All right, Greg. This is about as back to the basics as it gets. It's going to be wholesome, it's going to be fun, and no matter what happens, no matter what crazy hijinks ensue, absolutely no violence, none or it's off to boarding school for you. Yes, Dad. No violence. And whoosh! That's how the disembodied, haunted, muddy hand got its revenge. Oh, man. Creepy stuff like that's not real. There's no muddy hand. Then, then what's that behind you? <gasps> <laughs> Very funny, Rowley.
one better, Frankie. How about a deadly hand? <laughs> Come on, you giant oaf. Where's the finesse? You're all brute and no style. Jason Smash! So disappointing. If we're gonna do this, the best thing for you is to be as not you as possible. Greg, I'm sorry. It's obnoxious not letting someone just be who they are. Then, can I? Yeah. Go nuts. It is so on! That's my son! Amazing. Well, that happened. So I guess at least sometimes being me is all right. Ta -da! And now it's time for Top 10 Failed Jurassic World Attractions. Number 10. Dino Thunder Mountain. <laughs> Number nine, the Tunnel of Prehistoric Love. The Pachycephalosauruses are now in heat, and you've got a front row seat. <laughs> Number eight, the Hall of Presidential Sauruses. Four score and seventy million years ago. This is one big pile of shit. Number seven, Dino Space Mountain. <laughs> Number six, the haunted paddock. And now, a velociraptor will follow you home. <laughs> Number five, it's a small Jurassic World. Every time Queen and race, we will all eat your face. It's a small Jurassic World. This is one bigger pile of sh Number four, Dino Splash Mountain. That was a pretty good ride. <laughs> Number three. The Kitty Splice Lab Playground. Mommy, mommy, look what I made. <laughs> Number two, Pirates of the Caribbean, where the pirates do eat the tourists. <laughs> and the number one worst failed Jurassic World attraction, the Ian Malcolm Tunnel of Uh. Uh, well, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, 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 now this uh, is one great idea. <laughs> more and more, it seems like you can turn to the internet for advice on anything. Today, I'd like to find out what you all think about my love life. I'm happy to say I've had a recent success in getting a girl I like to notice me. But I actually haven't been able to repeat the achievement since. Let's see if you all can help me write Holly the perfect love letter. Red Cannon Buster XL4 writes, I hate you. Okay, getting off to a good start. Inferno Kid says, I know how it feels to be ignored before, even when you impress a girl. Well, I know that already too. Exploding Dragon TNT Crap says, How 
have him actually kiss her. Whoa, whoa! Now that's just... That's just... No, no! That's too forward! Surely there's some middle ground. Bendy's Shook Tonight says, Can you say snazzy? Sure, snazzy. Okay, the unhappy one writes, how to get a girl to notice you. One, lose interest. Okay. Two, think of her as just a human being. Well, I mean, she is one. Three, exercise to gain confidence. Right. Four, be her friend with your confidence. Five, be the greatest gentleman ever. Don't show off, be rude, stubborn, narcissistic, blah, 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 yeesh. Who am I? No way this is right. The ODST cat says, this is funny. Craig is like one of them people that say, notice me, senpai, please notice me. I am. Um, no, no, that doesn't sound like me. Marin Xenom says, Craig, you deserve someone best. You're right, Marin, I do. That's good, we're getting somewhere. Lalo Baez Carreño asks, if your girl scared at you, is like a broke up or friend zone T reject you? Anyway, for another question, have you find another girl like Ripley? Well, Lalo, as for your first question, I, I have no clue. But as for Ripley, there's no girl like her. Well, other than all her clones, they're pretty cool. Maybe I'll ask one of them out if Holly's not interested. Coop Boom says, kitty cat face, muscle arm? Yeah, yeah, okay. Good, good. Someone random writes, notice me, senpai, alien version. This again? Look, I don't know any senpai. Alistair Shembray says, Holly Hills hate you. No, she doesn't. She hates you, Alistair. I heard her say it with her mouth. Moving on. Hero Tube says, really? Yes, really. Fierce Tooth says, notice me, Senpai. Oh, come on. Electro Kid says, notice me, Senpai. Seriously? Notice me, Senpai. No task, May, Senpai. Notice me, Sis Pie. Notice me, Senpsyche. Knows me, Senpi. Notice me, Human Senpia. Notice me, Senpai. Okay, what is this? inspired meme or phrase making fun of a school-age character who pines impossibly after an out of their league crush or senpai who is their social better. What? That's not me. <laughs> that lot of good you all were. <sighs> <sighs> Orcs are not aggressive creatures, miss. They're adorable. They bring incredible cuteness into the world. <gasps> oh, I want one. It is mankind, rather, who insist upon marketing the bejesus out of them. That would look great in a car window. <laughs> We're talking keychains, we're talking mugs. Plushies. Definitely plushies. They look even cuter in 3D.
Maybe this was a mistake. As if coping with my own misery weren't hard enough, Mom says I need to spend more quality time with my baby brother Manny. Help him learn what's what. Manny's a little on the wild side, kind of primal, intense, hangry. And I think we all know the best place to get some perspective on what really matters in life. Internet comment sections. Here we are, Manny, the heart of the modern world. Let me show you how this works. Constance Quatch says, cringe. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much how this works. But Cecilia Lay says, I know what you feeling, man, I know. So, sometimes people do get you. It's honestly kind of hard to get a good read on it all. Francisco Leone asks, how can he see without eyes? Well, Francisco, it's similar to how you think without a brain. Bam! Alfie's channel XD says, Greg, Alfie. The real X bomb says, this sucks. Okay, ouch. <laughs> hey, don't encourage them. <laughs> Diego Navas says, the cringe. Very original. Jonathan Hernandez says, so cringy. Okay, we're not going down this rabbit hole again. How about we see what the internet thinks of you, Manny? Let's see how you like it. Django Fett 67 says, aw, it's a baby pred alien. Aw, heart eyes emoji. Ha, see, they're patronizing you. Support yourself says, that pred alien so cute and vicious. Evil smiley. Okay, well, maybe this person likes you. Daniel Leroy says, Manny looks like so cute. <laughs> Neon Genesis says, pred alien rocks. Okay, everyone likes you. Wyatt the Gamer Cube says, Manny looks ugly. Ooh, see? Don't like it, do you? Gotta Fight says, Okay, he is too much hungry. You're too hungry, Manny. Danny Leon says, Manny will be fat. Oh yeah, you'll be. Do you know who touching my Tide Pods says, Manny went from killer alien to weak baby. Who's a little weaky poo? Oh, oh no, don't do that. No, Manny, come on. No, it's just the internet. Look here, more comments. Bartek Waniarski says, that baby. See? He points you out. Michael Smithson says, Wurt. Wurt? What's Wurt? That's nothing. Toby Zoom says, How about you meet Shriek? Yeah, well, that's happening right now. The Almighty Borker says, Hashtag man eating man. Look, you got a hashtag. Oh, you like that? YouTube Fan 101 says, Manny can also impregnate all of humanity and take over the whole world. <laughs> you really like that, you little psychopath. You know, you sure are dramatic for someone who hasn't even spoken his first word yet. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh, well. At least the laptop didn't get destroyed this time. <laughs> personality and he's refusing to buy me any more computers so today I'm on what might be my toughest mission yet to respond to your comments without losing my temper so this is it the new me calm cool collected and ready for the internet shark cannibalism says I'm dying of cringe ah, it hurts well I'm sorry to hear that shark that must be painful perhaps you should see a doctor. Whew, not that hard. Chase Alvarez says, you never react to my comments. Well, I wasn't put on this planet for your amusement. Uh, sorry, sorry, I mean, yes, absolutely. I am reacting. Mahi Tariq says, Greg, can you please dab? Pretty please, pretty please with a cherry on top, please. 
is my life now. Gabby Anano asks, Can you say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Of course I can. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Clarence Lawrence says, Please make an episode that you take Predator's mask and puts it on. Oh, Roderick is not gonna like this. Jamie Stouffer asks, Can you actually see through the mask? Not as well as you'd think, actually. Alienka says, Could you ever sing something? Oh, Holly, won't you be mad? Can Greg do a backflip? Fine. You can go to the Predator's plant and say waza. Fine. Waza! Put this in volume six, please. Can you meet Indoraptor? Well, that's not really in my control. I don't exactly have her phone number. Hey, can you meet Godzilla, please? Look, again, if I don't know someone, then I can't just meet up with... Wait, could that be? Roderick, could you keep it down? Not until you bring back my plant, bro! <sighs> Diego Peralta asks, can you continue? Yup. Austin Halley says, do more of these. I am. Do more, do more. On it. Do more, like over 9,000. Don't you think that's a bit much? Sharon Pillow says, please don't do something wrong. I don't know, Sharon. It's getting harder not to every minute. <laughs> no, no, no. For the sake of reacting, I will keep this laptop safe. Dragon Bendy says, do Slender Man. Look, again, I'm sorry. Despite photographic evidence to the contrary, I don't know the guy. <laughs> ah, don't hurt my computer! What the? Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> ah. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. Whatever. Just as long as the computer's fine. Until next time, stay cool or something? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Movie Pass Mambo. We've offered you unlimited movies for $10 a month. But since our constant terms of service updates can be a bit confusing, we'd like to explain just how simple using MoviePass can be. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Everybody in the world, hey, come on right into the cinema around the corner. The card says for 10 bucks a month, you watch all the films you wanna. Except not when you go peak times Or when a film is at its prime You like Ant-Man, The Purge, The Meg you wanna see? Well, so does the world, so you get the spy who dumped me But what can you do? You really feel misled To see the film you want, just plan ahead Anything's fine, it's easy, let us explain Remember this refrain You get six choices any day Determined at random but on display Just visit our website to read the signs then go to the app for available times Pick out the screening you'll attend But with other users you'll contend So get to the theater at 8 a.m. Check in, go home, come back again Then use your pass like a credit card It's like free money, it's not that hard But take a quick photo of your ticket stub And send us a sampling of your blood Complete a brief survey and a retinal scan And just like that it all goes to plan Unless that theater's a movie pass hater Sneak in and boom, you just saw a skyscraper Three films per month, one movie each day Depending where you live and when the movies play Some shows cost more, and that's okay Cause they're in 3D, or cause we just say And when the rules change, be sure to take note Follow these steps and we won't go broke First you gotta quit and update the app Then change your password, it's a snap do the word search to find available shows And circle the one to which you want to go Put your name in our lotto and if it's picked You'll get six clues which each depict A theater in your vicinity Check in at each, get a puzzle piece Complete the puzzle, build the map to the key Then take a little road trip to DC Unlock the 
archival entrance. Swipe the Declaration of Independence. Decipher its code, type it into the app. Microwave your phone, then take a nap. We'll send you the time and location. Check in and boom, you just saw the nut. You'll do all to save a few bucks every film you view. So we can change what we see fit. Oh crap, wait, everyone just quit. Thinking. Let's a looksy wooksy at them nasty comments you're so saying about that other alien. See no more for Gregoon. He's a got a nothing on a Misa. Looky, looky. Robocarty saying, oh God, that's a Jar Jar. Hmm, how woo. Slicey Gamer saying, Jar Jar ruins everything. Icky poo. Jar Jar suck. I hate Jar Jar. Jar Jar is the worst character ever. Oh no! These are comments all bomb bad. Misa no like in the internet no more. Oh! Didn't I melt your face off? Nope, no. Misa got a lots of stunt doubles. Well, no time like the present. Ugh. Wait, wait! <laughs> Don't Yusa be seeing? Yusa finding bombad comments about Yusa. Misa finding bombad comments about Misa. Misa thinking all that woodness out there can't be meaning much and even somebody hating on everybody. Maybe we are not so different. Maybe we are through letting peer pressure influence our behavior. seems to bring out the worst in my brothers. <laughs> my only solace is the freedom that comes from being out of school for the holidays. <laughs> 
this just in, the snowstorm has arrived and you'll be trapped inside for days! What? No! No! It's hard to believe now, but there was actually a time I looked forward to being a big brother. I practiced caring for babies with a doll mom gave me. I couldn't wait to share my toys. And finally, have someone else to pass along Roderick's blames to. Rick did it. Manny did it. What? Of course, none of that turned out how I thought it would. Greg, how dare you blame your little brother? Yeah, Greg. And now, being stuck in the house, Roderick's louder than ever, and Manny demands to be the center of attention. Me, me, me! Ah! It's only a matter of time before one of us can't take it anymore. Okay, I love you too. Okay, who showed him how to do that? It was me. Greg, what? don't you even dare blame your little brother. It's not his fault that he's picking up bad behavior. Ugh, he knows what he's doing. And let him play with your game. He clearly wants to. No way! He'll get drool on it, and it burns through the screen. Yeah, you're the one to talk. Shut up! You shut up. Make me. I'll rip your spine out. I'll melt your face off. <laughs> Now look what you've done! He's scared enough with this blizzard! The last thing we need is anything that's gonna upset him further! And that'll do it! Greg, go to the basement and check on the fuse box. But it's creepy down there! <laughs> Can't Roderick do it? Roderick, huh? go with Greg to the basement. <laughs> oh man! Why are you afraid of the dark? You don't even have eyes. Ow! Stop stepping on my feet! Don't you have night vision in that mask? Yep, nothing gets by me. Not one of yours? No way! I'm not that sloppy! You? No! I cocoon them? Then who the butt did all this? Is that your old baby practice doll? Oh hey, it is! I wanna play a game. Kinda creepier than I remember. You complain about being trapped in your house, but that's nothing. Let's see how you respond when confronted with the possibility of actually being trapped. Seems about the same. It's not. It's worse. It's much worse. If you need proof, simply ask my friend on the counter. Psst. Hey, what's he talking about? You threaten violence on your own brother, unwilling to share anything but blame. Let's see how you like it when confronted with the possibility of actually having to exact that violence. Go on. You see, the key to unlocking your respective chains is hidden within your brother's spleen. In order to obtain the key, you must... <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, you don't seem to have any problem with this. Yikes. You're also shockingly good at dealing with abdominal injuries. Okay, fine, fine. But what if the stakes were higher? You'll know what I mean if you can solve a riddle. On the far wall are four deadly canisters. Three contain explosive surprises, but within one of them is... It's that one. J Damn it! Fine! Behold your peril. See? I've got your least appreciated brother. If you can't escape in time, you'll regret not giving him attention. My face hugger found this key in the fence! No! H how? And I think there's less structural integrity behind the X on this wall. No! But, but you have to follow the rainbow to your heart in order to... <laughs> no! That's not the rules! Don't you care? I've got your brother. <laughs> no! Stop! I failed you, I know, but that's not the reason to... <laughs> 
was weird. Who would go to all this trouble just to kidnap Manny? Hey, it's my old baby practice doll! Hey kids, wanna play? Mom had weird taste in dolls. Why'd you do it? What about against us? You think I'm in charge? We're merely the messengers. What's the message? Currently, this! <laughs> this whole time? Yup. You were right. It is creepy down here. Wait a minute. The power never went down by accident. These fuses were switched off to every room in the house except... No way! You threatened violence on your own brother, unwilling to share anything but blame. Manny did it! Your least appreciated brother. Me, me, me! He is picking up bad behavior. You'll regret not giving him attention. Let him play with your game. He clearly wants to. I want to play a game. Want to play? I want to play a game. Play a game. Play a game. I want to play a game. So the mastermind ate Manny. No! The mastermind is Manny! Oh, right, right. Mom! There. You see? He's been asleep in here the entire time. What? Greg. This is the last time I want you blaming your little brother. Yeah, Greg. Hey, shh. Game on. <laughs> is riddled with as much stress and constant horror as mine is, it's a good idea to take a break every now and then and focus on the bigger picture rather than all the obnoxious details. At least that's what my mom says. She thinks I could benefit from calming down, achieving inner peace. So, as you do in this day and age, we're gonna look that up on the internet. Join me today, fellow travelers, as we search for the deeper meaning in all your comments. Let's find something profound. Molly Gibson says, poop. Let's try again. Something profound. Lord Doge Games Matson says, hey alien, you're a loser. Something profound. Just another channel asks, hey Greg, are you secretly a giraffe? You know, this is my problem here. I try to do something worthwhile, and this is what I've got to work with. We've got insults. He's so ugly. Petty requests. Can you do the floss, Greg? Outlandish demands. Me Godzilla, me Godzilla, Greg. And the same questions, over. Why is your mouth always open? And over again. Why do you have cuts on your head? Can we please get something, anything, with deeper meaning? It's Reed Plays asks, is the alien real? Is the... Am I real? What kind of question is that? Unless... Unless that's the question. What makes any of this truly real? Poop. He's so ugly. Do the floss. It's not the endless insults or demands or questions that have meaning. It's how they're reacted to that gives them meaning. And if that's the case, then reacting is meaning. Reacting is the path to achieving inner peace. San0247 suggests, maybe instead of reacting to the comments, you should just react to the actual wimpy alien videos. Done and done, Sam. Inner peace, here we come. So here I am trying to impress everyone at school. It's amazing how even with just a bit of distance, the whole popularity game seems somehow trivial now. And here again, Roderick's pranks. 
devastating in the moment, but ultimately harmless jokes. And Holly, my love, I fought so hard for your attention, but you two were not but a fleeting fancy. Yeesh, I was a creeper. Ah, yes, the replacement. Same name, same life, but dramatically different reactions. For reactions are everything. Rydian the Furian says, Next up, reacting to reacting to comments. Not a bad idea, Rydian. So many comments, so much wasted frustration. The search for validation, the desire for affection. Also Slenderman. But now it all seems so distant, so small, and yet we could go further. Next up, Reacting to 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 Yes! I've done it! I've achieved complete, profound peace. <sighs> Fake Open Nicker says, Hey, Gerg. Hey, man. Jake and Nick TV says, Can you please do the floss? Yeah, sure, Jake. Why not? Nah, I'm kidding. I know what you want. <laughs> Turtlezilla says, Godzilla, please put Godzilla. Please, I am dying because you won't put Godzilla in any of these. Hey, why not? Godzilla, if you're watching, come on over. Whatever. Just Another Channel says, Greg, I think you're gonna be surprised by this, but you were made when a face hugger latched onto a human. That human was half giraffe. You are half giraffe. Whoa, it all makes sense now. I am half a giraffe. Scott Hamlin says, I love you. I love you too, Scott. I love all of you. I have found my happy place, and there is nothing that can pull me back. <gasps> Holy sh it's Godzilla! <laughs> Because it was way cooler than inner peace. Hey, are you tired of ordinary restaurant arcade experiences where nothing interesting ever happens? No, not really. Of course you damn well are. Hi, I'm Chucky, Chucky the Killer Doll, and I'm taking Homicidal Mania to the next level with my new chain of arcade slash pizzerias, Chucky's Cheese. Sound familiar? It's not. Unlike other similar establishments where the games don't come to life and try to kill you, here that's exactly what happens. As a deadly plaything myself, I love deadly playthings. And you will too. I've got Ski Ball. <laughs> Air Hockey. That basketball one! <laughs> and that's not all! I've got more video games than you can shake a knife at! <laughs> Even the go-karts got minds of their own! <laughs> ha! That guy broke his jaw! <laughs> and if you think I stopped at just the games, I didn't! The animatronics are alive! The chairs are alive! <laughs> Even the freaking pizza's alive! Nah, I'm just playing. But the salad sure is! <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the day, your kids can turn in tickets for all kinds of fabulous prizes. Get it? They're weapons! They're all weapons! We're putting the slash in our cake slash pizzerias. Chucky's cheese! Where if the restaurant doesn't get you, I will! <laughs> Hey, hold still, lady. The villains in an average kid's life are chores, homework, and puberty. In my life, the villains are also apparently an unending parade of horror movie knockoffs trying to capture and or kill me. Yeesh. Today, I'd like to get your feedback on my recent camping trip encounter with Freddy and Jason. As it's been said, to truly know one's enemies, a man must first know the contents of his own video comments section. 
The Pred Alien says, Dude, stop making these videos, honestly. You just ruined the Alien and Predator franchise. The whole thing is just literal cringe. Just stop it, please. Okay, not very helpful. The Pred Alien, huh? Manny, I know that's you, and you're not fooling anyone. Other than that, you've apparently learned to speak right and type. J Smart says, 049, that noise. Ah, here we go. Some specific analysis. Let's see what noise they're referencing in time code 049. Ah, what? That's it? Yeah, very funny. Ah, Hunky the Fat Dog says, 057, dim spaghetti arms. Time code 057, you say? <sighs> I'm not looking for art critiques. I was attacked by villains. The Raven of Fortnite asks, 524, where did you get the flamethrower? Well, this is more on topic. I picked up the flamethrower during that fight with the Marines and their robot leader. I like to keep souvenirs of all my adventures. Good question, though. Let's have more comments like that. Arnolfo Monte de Ramos asks, where did he get a flamethrower? Let's have similar but slightly different comments. Caleb Magbanua asks, where did he get that flame gun? I see the internet's got a sense of humor today. Dope Minecraft Lizard says, why is Greg playing on a PS3? He should play on a PS4. That's what I keep telling my dad. You and he ought to have a chat, Dope Lizard. Israel Gonzalez says, Greg was playing Aliens Colonial Marines, which is one of my favorite games. It's my favorite too, Israel. Though, I'll admit those things that keep attacking you just freak me out. <laughs> Sam0247 says, You know that fire gun you used in War Dog Days in the Last Claw? <sighs> I'm familiar with it. Maybe next time you can use that to do destroy the computer next time because spitting acid at it is a bit too harsh. What? Why would I want to destroy my computer again? I wouldn't do that. <gasps> Daniel Rules Espinal says, Greg, put this in volume. You should have said, let's put paws on the claws and stop the chasing with Jason. Huh, that's pretty good, Daniel. Let's try it out. Let's put the paws on the claws and stop the chasing with Jason. Nice. I'd save that line for next time, but you know, they're both dead. Daniel Massey says, the alien couldn't have got Jason because he was wearing a mask. Oh, come on. It probably had holes. Face huggers are very persistent, you know. Pamela Marshall asks, why did you, why didn't you just throw a face hugger onto Predator? Ugh, because he was wearing a mask, duh. Captain Pukesalot says, Jason Voorhees can't die, by the way. Um, no, I'm pretty sure I watched him die. Ugandan Knuckles says, Jason and Freddy Krueger, like, can't die. I'm telling you, I was there. They died. I used my flamethrower, some acid, and my mouth doodle, and a couple of face huggers. Meat Malert says, that will not kill Freddy and Jason, you stupid. What? You stupid! Seriously, it's like these comments are fighting back today. Kano, leader of the Black Dragon, says, wait, doesn't Jason have the undying effect on him? The undying effect? That's not a thing. Orange Diamond Gaming says, I don't think Jason would die that easily because if he was blown up and survived, then he can survive a flamethrower. He survived being blown up? Uh-oh. Now I'm kind of afraid to click the next comment. Ace of Spades says, Chess Busters can't be alive if the host isn't because the host has to be alive for the Chess Burster to evolve. So if the Chess Bursters were alive, then the hosts still were too? That's right, floppy face. We're still kicking, and I'm inside your computer. <gasps> Why do you think the comments have been so conversational today? <laughs> what? No! Um, leave the claws on some paws and... Uh, whatever! <laughs> <sighs> Good thing I have this flamethrower.
Place. Rated PG for our team.